so we already have a really nice uh, rig set up here uh, the only problem is that there are more controls available at the moment than would ever actually be useful uh, this rotate toe control is probably the best example uh, the only useful control that you can have over this is to rotate in the x direction but uh, currently the uh, gizmos allow you to scale which does n almost nothing uh, also to rotate in these weird directions which actually breaks the rig and uh, also to move it around which again does weird things and uh, isn't uh, a very good idea at all so we need to lock off, lock off those um, transform options and we do that in this panel which we bring up by pressing N uh, and with the control selected we'll go through locking off using these padlock icons the controls that we don't want to be available and as I lock them off you'll be able to see in the viewport those axes disappear from the control gizmo so we want to leave the X rotation available we'll lock off the Y and the Z rotation and we want to lock off X, Y and Z scale as well now I'll do the same or similar for all the other bones the hip uh, we need all of the rotation and the movement uh, options but we don't need any of the scale options so we'll lock those off uh, the overall foot control we need to rotate and move in all directions so we'll leave the rotation and location as they are and lock off just the scale uh, the, um, the tiptoe control uh, we don't need any of the scales we don't need any of the uh, location movements um, and uh, we can see that uh, in the normal orientation uh, we probably do need X rotation that would be useful to go up on the tiptoe and we do need Y rotation to rotate around the tip of the toe like that but I don't think we need Z at the moment so we'll lock off Z as well um, and for this the only uh, useful motion is up and down in the Y axis so we'll lock everything else off and uh, now we have a really nice clean animator friendly rig so the only controls that you uh, that are available are the only controls that you need in blender 2.5 we can go a little bit further by uh, selecting um, or um, well these bones in the uh, IK chain that are controlled by the A IK uh, we'll never need to select those so we can uh, go to the um, outline of view and uh, you can see I've already opened up the armature hierarchy and uh, we can click on this icon which is the selection icon to say that this bone can never be selected so I've just made the thigh unselectable and as you can see when I click in the viewport nothing happens it doesn't select the thigh so I'll do the same for the shin uh, the tarsal bone and the toe. Now these bones are non-selectable and uh, really the only things that the animator has access to are the useful things which will help them to animate. So that, that's really useful. And there are a couple of things that we can still do to make it even tighter. Uh, now this bone uh, is locked into the y-axis and that's the only one that you can move and that's the only one that's useful which is good but it's only useful between positive one and sorry uh, positive 0.1 blender unit and negative 0.1 blender unit but you can still move it much further than that and uh, we want to lock that off so it only moves in a useful way so we'll do that using a bone constraint we'll come back to the properties panel here and on bone constraints we'll choose add constraint and uh, limit location constraint and we only want to limit the uh, y axis because that's the only one that's available and uh, we need that to be evaluated in local space and um, we'll set that minimum to be minus 0.1 and the maximum to be 0.1 blender units and um, we also need to tick this for transform that ensures that the animation curves never go over or over 0.1 or less than minus 0.1 so now we have a really a really um, robust rig that's very difficult to break uh, and it's really fun to animate with because it has really great controls 
Now there were a couple of things that I did at the beginning um, to uh, try and keep this tutorial as quick as possible. But I'll just explain that um, there are those things I wouldn't have usually have done. Uh, one of those is um, that uh, I usually put the ball of the foot, the joint for the ball of the foot, a little bit off the ground because it's really in the centre of that bone that the bone rotate, that the toe rotates around. So it's usually better to put that a little bit higher up. Um, also, uh, in the original finished rig, which I'll show you now, uh, there was this control as well, which is the tumble control, which allows you to rotate back and forth from side to side around two pivot points, one on either side of the foot. Now, I skipped that for speed, and because um, it uses similar techniques to the ones that we used here, uh, that, that is an action constraint, and uh, using one pivot here and one pivot here, uh, so you may be able to do that already just having watched these videos but I might do another tutorial for that if um, if there is any request for it it should be fairly quick and the other thing that I did was to uh, build the leg in line with the hip which really isn't normal the, the leg should be um, offset to the side it should be here the left leg should be to the left of the hip bone so normally I would have built that there. Actually, because Blender has such a nice rigging system, you can still go back in and change that despite having done all this work on the rig. Uh, so I think I have time. I'll just uh, go in and do that now. Uh, we need to make these bones selectable again. So we'll come back into the outline view and make them all selectable. Then we'll tab into edit mode, come to the front view, then press all to select all of them. You need to press it twice. We'll deselect, sorry, deselect the hip, and then press G to grab, and then move it. Move the all the bones. Ah, I forgot to make the uh, other bone layer visible, and we do need all of them. So I'll come into the armature panel and shift select this layer. So now we have all of the bones visible. And I'll press A twice again to make everything selected, and deselect the hip again. Press G to grab, uh, Control to lock to the grid and uh, move it just to the side there. Then I'll tab out, and hopefully everything should still be working. I'll deselect everything, hide that layer again, and uh, now we have a nice foot rig all sorted out. Actually, there's one other control that um, would usually be in a rig, and I could uh, show you how to make that in the uh, next tutorial if I make it. Uh, where I'll also show you the foot roll control. Um, the other control that I'm talking about is a knee uh, target control, which I'll show you in the finished rig here. Uh, and it's this object. It's the child of uh, the foot bone, so it moves with the foot. And when you move the target itself, you can see the leg, uh, particularly the knee, moves to point towards it. So that's another thing that we could add to this rig. But basically, we've gone through all the hardest parts, and uh, congratulations for making it this far. I hope you found this useful, and uh, I hope you use it in the future, and happy blending. See you soon.